Sergey and Robert, five years ago we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. everybody we are headed to the Dane County Airport in Madison Wisconsin Bob is leaving me for a week we've never met apart this long I don't think um, so I'm dropping him off and he's heading to New York City without me can't believe it Even with them, ah, they're gonna come ah. with me. They don't want to sit around here. So you guys are coming with me. We are going to a New York Yankees game. We are gonna see the Women's U.S. Open Finals Championship on Saturday, along with the mixed doubles. We're going to a Mets game, and it's Fashion Week in New York City. So why would you want to stay here? You gotta come with me. So we are flying to New York City. And we are going to explore for a week. We have a lot going on. Oh, I forgot. We're doing a Maroon 5 concert in New Jersey. So you guys got to come with me. Let's do this. for my connector to New York City, so I thought I'd give you the lowdown. Gay's gonna stay in Madison for a few days, for about a week, and hang out with some friends, do a girls weekend with her sister and niece. So I am free for a week. One of the choices was to go to Kitty Hawk and take kiteboarding lessons. Another option was to look for like Descend and Bend or Van Fest, but I didn't find anything. So I pulled up bookings.com, which by the way, um, if bookings.com is watching, you should sponsor us. We have probably a thousand, or maybe I'm uh, exaggerating a little bit, nights booked with you guys over the last five years. So I'm kidding. So getting back to it, I pulled up bookings.com and pulled up Manhattan, and I found the Leo house, which we stayed at about a month ago, again for $58 a night. So I ended up booking a week there. And while we're there, the plan is to do, go to a Yankees game, which will be tomorrow night. From there, then we're going to go to New Jersey, which is about an hour train ride from New York City to Maroon 5 concert. And that was $30 for those tickets. Then on Saturday, we are going to go to the U.S. Open Women's Final um, and the Mixed Doubles Final. So that'll be fantastic. Um, that's in Flushing Meadows, New York, so that'll be great. And then possibly a Mets game, and then also this week is Fashion Week in New York City. So looking maybe to do a runway. I'm not sure if I'm dressed quite appropriately to go, and I have no clothes that are has any fashion whatsoever to them, but we will see as we get closer. But maybe there are things going wrong. Otherwise, going to hang out in New York City also, and... Uh, you know, Bryant Park, Washington Square, just uh, Times Square. So I'll take you along. 
I'll shoot video every day. That's the plan. I'm on my way to New York City now. Uh, when we get there, I will show you the Leo house. I have a, this one's a single room, and again, for $58 a night, and it's on 23rd and 8th in Manhattan, so it's perfectly located. But anyway, I will be back in touch when we land in New York City. All right, here's the deal. They called me up because I volunteered to be bumped. I put in a bid for $1,500 to be a bump for t tomorrow morning. So right now, $1,500 plus hotel. They're gonna put me up in a hotel. If they get no but uh, other bidders, and he doesn't think there'll be anybody else that'll be interested. So we'll see, it might be a good uh, bid. I started out, I did it at 500 earlier, and I said, forget it, I'm gonna do 1500 so it's it a good idea. So I will let you know what they say. All right, I guess I didn't get booked. They, uh, not two people off, but there was three volunteers, and obviously I was a little bit more greedy than the other ones, but that's okay. All right, made it to LaGuardia. Um, easy flight, but maybe one of the most disappointing flights that I've taken. So I'll give you the scoop. I was, they overbooked the flight by three passengers and there was only three volunteers. So there's two volunteers at maybe $400 and I was at $1,500. So they called me up, just about ready to take me off of the flight, give me the $1,500 voucher, put me in a hotel. And they were just waiting for James Kennedy. So James Kennedy, when you book a flight, you must show up for your flight. You cost me $1,500. <laughs> so unfortunately, James Kennedy did not show up for his flight and we ended up, or they ended up putting me on the flight and so I'm in New York City. So no, it was all good. I went for the home run at the $1,500 thinking they wouldn't have, because they had uh, flights that wouldn't go out until the next day and then another option was two days later. So. Um, I figured it might be worth that uh, effort to do the home run and anyway I struck out but I'm here in New York City and now take the bus and the subway to the Leo house um, on Manhattan and then uh, get some pizza and relax for the night so I will show you again as we make our way to New York City. Alright, back at the Leo house, guest house, uh, here in Manhattan on 23rd and 8th, so when I say about New York City, just jump a subway and it takes you basically right to your door. So now we'll see what I have her for a place. Last time I was here was really nice as far as uh, the room and stuff, I mean relative to the price is fairly inexpensive, so that makes it better, but it's always interesting to see if I'm going to get a view, or if I'm going to be in the alley, I'm going to be next to the elevator, whatever. We will soon see. The venture begins. Well, here it is. Small, but okay. Here's the bathroom and the shower. So the other one did not have a shower. This one does much better. See you tomorrow.
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys.